I am in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin right now. This is the famous lake with houses by, uh, <clears throat> that are owned by the very rich and well-connected, including the Wrigley family. And I just went on a boat tour that I talked about people having ties to the Rockefellers and others. And there's this uh, walking trail that us proles can take uh, where we can gawk at their massive property. Their massive homes, their immaculate lawns, and so forth. And it goes all the way around the lake. Um, and I'd like to, I'd like to do the entire walk, but I don't think I will have time to. It's around 22 miles to circumnavigate all of Lake Geneva. But you can see in the distance, these are some of the, some of the rich and powerful people's boats. And here, as you can see in the distance, the other side of the lake. Um, nice homes there, nice homes here. Nothing against nice homes. Please, under, please don't misunderstand me. Nothing against rich people. Please don't misunderstand me, but... I'm going to wait a minute before I say what I say. I just passed somebody. Um, here's what I can't help but wonder. As I walk this trail, I can't help but I can't help but think to myself, where were the massive blood rituals taking place? Where did they massacre children? Where did they uh, do their uh, where did they where did they do their blood curdling? Uh, rituals was it is there are there basements underneath these houses where those rituals took place do they go elsewhere do they do they uh, march into the woods in their uh, hooded robes and uh, say the black mass <clears throat> while they engaged in sex orgies with infants. And these are the kinds of things I wonder about now. <laughs> oh, man. And how anyone could think that, uh, you know, coming into this kind of awareness is in any way... Uh, what someone would want. It just, you know, like you, the, the idea, the notion that, uh, that, you, that a person would get off on just thinking, well, at least I see through the bullshit. It, it's just, I, I would, I would love to unlearn the things that I've found out about. Um, I'd love to know that it's not true. I would, it would make me, I would be able to enjoy this walk along this beautiful path, with, uh, flanking these beautiful houses on this beautiful day. I'd be able to, uh, to take all of this in without, <laughs> without these, these kinds of thoughts piercing through my mind. You know, it's certainly not something I would, that I would have wished on myself or on anyone else. I would, I, and I, you know, I would like if, if others, I would almost like, you know, my loved ones to stay, such as my children and whatnot, to stay innocent of this kind of stuff, to stay completely unaware of this kind of stuff. I think it taints you. I think it it does something to you. It warps you. It makes you feel in some way complicit. And it, may take, it transforms you from someone, from a state of nor normalcy where you would be, to 
just looking at all of this and just thinking, this is beautiful. What a blissful state of mind I am in, seeing nature, seeing these, these beautiful houses. But nope, private property, members and guests only. You must have sacrificed children in order to enter this property. And I have not sacrificed children, so I'm going to have to go down this path. <laughs> All right. So, tenants of the house, thoughts of a dry brain in a dry season.